Manchester United won. West Ham nil. Three points is three points. We get the job done in the end, but it, it wasn't pretty by any means. Like, I wasn't expecting this. I'll be real. I was expecting a cruisy dominant display, and that's what we saw for the first half an hour. But West Ham, for about three quarters of that game, or for two thirds of that game, had us on strings. Um, that was nerve wracking, and uh, lucky that bit of world class, um, just technical ability from Christian Eriksen into a phenomenal hair by Marcus Rashford led us to the win. And um, wow, that was. A game where we almost didn't deserve to win, to be honest. I mean, David De Gea in the last minute. We'll get straight on to him. I think he... Ha I'm going to give De Gea an 8. I'm going to give De Gea an 8. He's a man of match contender. That's the first time I've said that in about six months. And that's a good thing. But, yeah, I don't, I don't like him being a man of match contender. I really don't. Because I don't want the ball going near him that much. And he's an 8. He was phenomenal. And he pretty much single-handedly saved us that game. Um, Diogo Delo, he's going to be the one of the few in the back four that I'm going to give it a seven. Um, not an eight, not an eight, but I think his his ability to pick up um, on the high press, I think personally he's our best player. Um, on the high press, he's our best fullback. I'm not saying he's the best fullback today. I think the fullbacks were pretty even. But I think on the high press, he's our best fullback to be able to pick off the long balls in the air. He is an absolutely ridiculous player in that aspect, and, and he's showy against the guy. He gets bigger by the game. I love Delo. Maguire, I think. I think for most of the game, he probably should have gone a six. But for he was brought into the side to stop the aerial ability of Antonio and Skamaka. And he didn't do that once. He left it to Delo a lot of the time. And Delo's not astounding in the air like Maguire. He was lazy. His positioning is just not there. Probably a five for me. I, I'd love to give him a six, and I think he deserved it for most of the game. But a lot of just a lot of things that were rough around the edges just bring him down to a five. He was really yeah. Um, Litcher usually a seven in this performance. I'm giving him an eight. Um, fuck. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. I, I'm very sick. In case you can't tell, um, I'm going to give Litcher an eight in this performance. Usually a seven. But he was the one that carried that thing that combination, um, cleaned up long balls really well like Delo did. And yeah, at, at ground level, he's absolutely astounding. I think Martinez gets an 8 um, from me. Uh, actually, no, I think he actually gets a 7. I think I was being a little bit too generous. I can't say uh, Martinez was that much bigger than Delo or even bigger. Uh, Luke Shaw, he also gets a 7. I think our entire back four was really solid. It was really just Maguire who was the weak point. Uh, it was surprising our back four was solid considering how we let De Gea have so much of the responsibility. Um, but Luke Shaw getting bigger by the game. Um, he, his attacking play is getting so good. It, it is getting so good. Like, even Luke Shaw at his best wasn't this good on the attack. Um, yeah, his balls into the box are phenomenal. Didn't get an assist today, but was very close to getting a few. And he was really good. Um, Casemiro, I'm going to give it a 6. I'm going to give Casemiro a 6. First time in a while. He yeah, isn't a man of the match contender. Um, that's okay. He doesn't need really to have a great game every game. I think he did a job that wasn't perfected, executed perfectly. I think Declan Rice got on top of him. I think maybe Declan Rice won the battle, to be honest. I think Rice did win the midfield battle today. Um, but yeah, Casemiro, he gets a six. Yeah, midfield wasn't astounding. Um, midfield wasn't astounding, but there are some things you've just got to sit down, give a nine, and go man of the match. I don't know how that's a 6.9. What? Christian Eriksen is just... I think I might be missing something if I'm giving Eriksen a 6.9. If that's a 6.9 and I'm giving him a 9. I think I might be missing something because Eriksen is simply a magician. That assist is the best assist we've seen in about two years. Um, I mean, that, that ball in the box is absolutely magical. You, you, you can't script it. And then the Rashford header is just as good. Um, he's just, he's, he just controls the midfield. Dictates the midfield better than anyone we've seen in such a long time at United. Christian Eriksen in nine. Um, dictates the midfield so consistently. And that's the main thing. It's consistency on how how consistent a basis he does this absolute magic magic work. Um, I'm going to give Bruno a five. I think Bruno went a little bit missing. And um, he moved to the right wing, which is where I think we could start trying to trial him. He got a yellow card, which means he's suspended for the Aston Villa game on Saturday. Um, so, yeah. Well, oh, sorry, on Sunday. So, he'll miss the Villa game on Sunday. 
Um, so I hope Dongy Van Der Beek gets a chance out of that. So Bringer won't be playing. I think uh, Bringer actually might play against uh, Sociedad on Friday, but he won't be playing against Villa on Sunday, which would probably open up a door for Dongy to get a chance. Um, but yeah, probably a five. Alanga, he also gets a five. I don't get why he gets picked. He's a young lag. He's just not ready. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, not ready. I don't know why he gets more into the selection and Garnacho doesn't. Um, it's just mind boggling. I think I thought team selection was mind boggling today. I guess Lindelof and Anthony might have apparent injuries because they both win even on the bench. So maybe that's why they selected Galanga because you can't play Rashford or Garnacho off the right. But it was really strange why Alanga got a position today and why Lindelof and Anthony both went in the squads. Uh, Rashford, um, seven. Yeah, 10 on seven. Perfect. Um, scored a great goal, but his finishing still just really average. But in the air, all of a sudden, he's a Ronaldo in his prime. I don't hate Ronaldo. I don't dislike Ronaldo. He's a legend of the club. But he wasn't involved in any link up. When, the, when he got chances, they weren't even close. I'll give him a five, not a four. That was a bit harsh, but come on, Cristiano. He's our only striker option, so I can't even criticise him. Like, he's our only striker option. Um, Rashford can't play up top. He, he, I mean, Rashford showed why he's so good coming off the left in, in today. Um, yeah. McTominay I mean, five because he, he almost gave away a penalty that cost us, like, against Chelsea. Uh, Fred gets... Oh, six. I can't really say anything. Ten Hag. It, it would have been a five. Because we won, I'll give him a six. I, I don't think it was a phenomenal performance by 10 after eight. Team selection was questionable. I think maybe with inj apparent injuries for Anthony Lindelof, I'm not sure what's happened there. Um, maybe that's why he has to, had to select guys like Alanga. The Maguire selection, looking back on it, at the start, it was probably the right call for the height. But he did absolutely nothing. And Maguire cannot warrant a return in that team unless Varane's fit, which he won't be um, until the World Cup. Or Lindelof, which I'm not sure what's going on with him, but I hope he's fit. Because Maguire just can't play again. He's just not fit for that side. And Lindelof is an absolute rock down there with Martinez. And he's as close as we're going to get to a Varane in that side. De Gea is a definite man of the match contender, but I'm going to give it to Ericsson. And I'm going to lower it to an 8. I think a 9 is ridiculous. But yeah. Ericsson's my man of the match, but De Gea's second. Submit my vote. Um, from the looks of it, I think De Gea's going to get the man of the match. And he will. Look. De Gea and Ericsson are almost equal in the match. They're very, very close. Because De Gea saved us the game. He, we've got to remember, he saved us the game. Um, I thought Ericsson's dictation in the midfield plus the assist was just phenomenal. Um, but yeah, uh, De Gea, I'm really happy with that result. Not, and I'm not actually that happy with the result by, um, of him winning the man of the match. Because I want the goalkeeper to win the man of the match. I want it to stay away from him. And I don't want... I mean, that save on the Declan Ross shot at the end was absolutely phenomenal. But I'm going to give it to Ericsson. They're very close, though. Thank you all for watching. Um, I will see you for Sociedad on Friday. If we win, we if we win by two goals, we will go top of the group and we will have we will get to skip the next round. If we win by less than a goal, draw or lose, we're going to have to play Barcelona, Juventus or someone like that. We've got an Aston Villa watch along on Sunday. And then the Friday after, we've got Aston Villa again in the Carabao Cup. So I'll see you all then. Thank you all for watching. Up you Reds.